Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For anybody new here, my name is Jessica. I'm the Fry Family Coach, and today we are continuing the beginner dog training series. And Kim does not like me recording, so she is trying to entice me with a toy. <laughs> Aren't you, baby? So we are continuing the beginner dog training series, and this video is going to be a twofer because we are talking about new environments, and we are also talking about a checklist for when you first get your dog. So what, like a new puppy checklist, what you would need to be getting. So let's go ahead and get right into new environments. So throughout the beginner dog training series, we've talked about some pretty basic things. We've gone through potty training, sits and stays and looks and all of the basics. And the one thing that you really need to focus on from the beginning is really doing the best job you can socializing your new puppy. And so we want to expose them to all different types of stimulus. And in our training, we want to do the same thing. We want to, to continue our training with our dogs in new environments. We want to take them to the park. We want to be able to train with them around other dogs, around cats, around kids. Um, any, if you can go to like a Home Depot, I, we all know that Home Depots are very dog friendly. So in, in any other stores that are dog friendly. Um, so inside of stores in parks on, on the beach, if you can, just all sorts of environments that are going to be different, that are going to provide challenges for our dogs that give us the opportunity to work through those challenges with our dogs. So like I said, these changes and environments include, but definitely are not limited to um, other dogs being around, cats, children, parks, beaches in the city, in the country, um, stores, like I said, Home Depot. But again, any place you can think that is going to provide um, even just the slightest level of difficulty because these are all any new environment is a distraction for our dogs. So we want to give them the opportunity to get used to the environment and then to actually be able to train in that environment. And this is also, especially if you have a new puppy, going to give your dog, your puppy, a chance to socialize appropriately and be comfortable in all sorts of different environments. So I'm going to go ahead and interject really quickly. If you have not already, go ahead and check the description for the link to the group. Join the family. There are thousands of other pet parents. They are just waiting for you to join. You can share what's going on with you and your dog. Um, share pictures and videos of trying out new environments with your dog. That would be amazing. I would love to see that. So go ahead and check the description below for a link to the group and join the family. So now let's go ahead and get into that new puppy or new dog checklist. All the things you need to have at the time or before you actually bring your dog home. And there, there are quite a few things, but don't let that overwhelm you. You can collect them over time. You can borrow them from friends and family until you get your own. So really be creative about how you um, acquire all these things, especially if you're acquiring them all at once. But I do want to go ahead and interject here because um, owning a dog, being a pet parent to a dog or a cat or any other pet is not cheap. So make sure you do your research and you are financially in a position to be able to care for your dog every year, year after year for their lifetime. It is it is it's serious. It's something, it's a long-term commitment. So definitely make sure you are both emotionally uh, ready, your home is ready, and you are financially prepared to take care of your dog, whatever they may need for their lifetime. Now for our new puppy or new dog checklist, I am going to put a link in the description below to my Amazon storefront. And when you get to my Amazon storefront, I'm going to have a section on the storefront dedicated just to this new dog checklist. So any and everything that I love is going to be on this new dog checklist and you will be able to go right on Amazon and order any or all of it directly from the link in the description below. So let's start out with the very first thing you're gonna need and that is a kennel or a crate. These are incredibly important, not just because I think every dog should be crate trained for emergency situations. If you have to, if you have an emergency and you have to take your dog to the vet, very likely they are going to be put in a kennel type environment, uh, especially if you have to drop them off. So you don't want them to be scared. You also want to make sure if you do have to say evacuate your home for flooding or an earthquake or a fire or whatever may be going on, a hurricane, 
you want to make sure that your dog is comfortable being in a crate because you will likely have to put a crate in your car to transport your dog or if you're going to um, an emergency shelter you will likely have to have your dog in a crate so it is incredibly important to have your dog comfortable with their crate for emergency situations and of course you're going to need a collar and a harness now you don't always have to have a collar though i do like having a collar for id tags and things like that the, most of the harnesses that i purchase have a spot where you can also add an ID tag. So um, if you have, I, I never ever ever attach a leash to a collar, um, only to a harness. So definitely you will want a harness, but possibly also a collar. Um, if you have a dog that happens to love collars, and there are some dogs out there that do, these are very decorative, cute little accessories that you can buy for your dog, but definitely a harness. And of course, a leash, a four to six foot flat leash no retractable leashes, nothing longer than that. Well, you will need a long line for training, which I did mention in um, other beginner dog training series videos. So I will also include the long line for training in this checklist as well. You'll need ID tags for your dog, which you can order online or you can get made in your local pet store. Um, but definitely make sure you do have an ID tag for every collar or every harness. For me, they are difficult to get on and off, so I would just rather have one for every color or every harness that my dog has. And we all know that accidents are bound to happen, so you are gonna need a good carpet cleaner. I love Nature's Miracle, so I will include that in the list as well. You're gonna need poop bags, and I like to have a couple of different types of poop bags, but I always use earth-rated poop poop bags because they are biodegradable. So I will have those linked in the description as well under the uh, new puppy checklist on my Amazon storefront. And how can we forget a treat pouch for training? I will list some of my favorites as well. Of course, you're gonna need wonderful food and amazing treats. I love single ingredient treats. And the next video in the beginner dog training series is gonna talk all about choosing the right food for your dogs. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel to get a notification when the next video goes live so you can learn all about the right food to feed your dog. Along with that goes food bowls, and water bowls. Now I only, 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 only use either glass, stainless steel, or ceramic. That is it. No plastics whatsoever um, as long as I can help it. Now there may be some enrichment, uh, maybe some enrichment pieces that are silicone, but other than that, their regular food dishes are only going to be glass, stainless, or ceramic. Of course, you're going to want to have a variety of toys for your dog because you don't know what kind of toys your dog is going to like. And especially going through the teething phase, your dog may change up the toys that they love to play with on a day-to-day -day basis. So have a good variety of really quality, high quality, well-made toys. Those, I will have plenty of them linked in the my Amazon storefront for you. You're also going to need a really high quality shampoo. Um, I will say that I use a scent-free shampoo and I add veterinary grade essential oils to my shampoo depending on what my dog's needs are at the time. Um, I only use Animalio essential oils for me and for my pets and they are not on Amazon. So definitely check the description because that will be a separate link for you. But I will have the shampoo I use linked on my Amazon storefront. You're also going to need a good brush for your dog and nail clippers. One other thing that I do, well, two actually other things that I do want to add to li this list. One is going to be a good uh, wipe. So for babies, we use baby wipes, but for pets, we need a good pet wipe. And they are not all created equal. So I will also have the pet wipes that I use linked on my Amazon storefront. And the very last thing that I do want to add is lint rollers. Not for your pet, but for you. You are going to want them, so I will include these on the checklist as well. So definitely, if you haven't already, check the description and go to my Amazon storefront. I will have all of these listed in one place for you and you can just go on down the, the line and get one after the other after the other because you're going to need all of these things for your pet. If I missed anything, comment below and let me know. Or if I didn't miss anything, if you're like, oh my gosh, I love this. Thank you so much for putting all of this together for me. Jessica, go ahead and comment that below as well. Thank you so much for being here with me in this video. There's only gonna be one more video in the beginner dog training series and we're gonna be talking about food. So definitely, if you're not already, make sure you are subscribed. If you look down there and that subscribe button is red, 
go ahead and click it, turn it gray. When that happens, a bell will appear. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way YouTube will notify you every time I post a new video. And if you're brand new to the beginner dog training series, if you have not watched any of the other videos, why not? Go ahead and check the description for a link to the beginner dog training series playlist and watch them all the way through from the beginning to the end and work with your dog along the way. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to go ahead and end this video, but really quick before I do, there's going to be another video popping up. I think right about here, it's really going to continue to help build that bond between you and your dog. So I definitely recommend you check that out next. And Thank you so much for being here. I will see you in our next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.